Welcome back everyone. Let's start off with the items that we'll be using. The first is going to be a microfiber towel. This is perfect for cleaning up the heavier messes. I'm going to use a few gloves here to keep our hands clean. This 14 millimeter socket is going to be to crack open the oil drain plug. And it is going to be a half inch size. That way I only use one ratchet. This is going to be a half inch ratchet. And that fits into the tool to remove the oil filter. Next we have 12 millimeter washers. And we're using a pick here to remove these O-rings. You don't need the pick. You can use something else, but the pick makes it pretty easy. And I found this tool on Amazon. It is the same as the OEM, but this is like a third of the price. So again, most of these items will be listed in the description. So just click and you'll see them all linked there. We're gonna be using a Fram filter here. I'm not the biggest fan of Fram, but this is the one of the only ones I could find on Amazon on short notice. And these two O-rings will be included. Here's a closer look. And again, it says 20,000 miles, but I, I'm gonna replace it usually every oil change just to have that maintenance. Oil funnel, some extra papers there. Uh, oil catch pan, make sure it's at least um, seven quarts because your oil is gonna be 6.4 quarts when it drains. And this is full synthetic from Costco. It's linked at about, it's currently about $32 in store. So I'll link it for the online. It'll probably be a little more online, but still a terrific price for 10 quarts. And there's the item number if you wanna look it up. You're gonna have these two sheets of paper just to catch some oil in case it spills. And in my case, I'm gonna be using my trusty race ramps and I'm going to apply a wheel chalk and the parking brake, of course. All right, let's start getting into this. We're gonna open the fill lid for the oil as well as the dipstick to get consistent airflow for when we drain in a moment. There we can see our oil filter with the cover. And here is our oil drain plug. All right, so we cracked it open with a 14 mil. And if you see there, I don't have the crush washer on the fill plug. So that means it is stuck onto the side there so make sure to check because you don't want to do a double o-ring and then have some leaks while we wait i'm going to clean my oil drain plug and i'm going to be applying this 12 the 12 millimeter crush washer ideally you want to clean the contact surface right now i was um, a bit sidetracked but clean it so you have a better contact surface a mating surface and um, obviously torque it in a moment i'm going to clean this so when the car heats up it doesn't make a burning oil smell so i'm just cleaning up the extra oil there and i torqued it by hand pretty snug but i think the official torque specs are 30 pound feet And here you can see with the tool, you want to line it up in those little wedges. And just be advised, oil will start to spill when you start to loosen it. So I have a catch pan under.
let it drain for a bit. And next we're going to remove the old filter. You just pull straight out. And there you can see that springing mechanism. That'll be for the little plastic attachment on the bottom. I'll show it in detail a little bit later. In the meantime, let's clean our housing so that we don't have any mess when we reattach it. And you can see here where the pick is very useful. It hooks very nicely. And we clean the contact surface. And with our new filter, we just want to dip it. With our new O-ring here, we want to dip it in just a bit of oil to lubricate it. And then we're going to reattach it. Don't overstretch it because you don't want to snap it. And you see the proper groove there, just align it, take your time. And so this plastic piece that comes with the filter, it's basically, if you open that with a half inch drive, there's going to be a little spot where you could connect that and it'll drain cleaner. I'm personally not a fan of it because it ends up being a pain to add it on and off. And under this lid, there is another O-ring but um, I think I replaced this last time, so I didn't want it to go through the mess again. It's pretty tedious and it uh, turns into a wrestling match. So again, we're gonna clean the contact surface here as well so we get a nice clean thread. And again, for this filter, I'm going to hand torque. Um, I'm not doing anything spec here, just enough that it's snug so that when I come back to it in the future, it's easy enough to remove without having to go too hard. In the owner's manual, it calls for 6.4 quarts. I'm going to be pouring in six quarts and then lowering the car off the ramps and then measuring accordingly and filling as needed. Once the first um, five quarts are empty, what I'm doing is I'm going to pour in exactly one quart and it's easy to measure because it's empty. So you can see there I have one quart exactly. So that puts me at six quarts and then I'm gonna lower it off the ramps. I left the car running for about two minutes just to have the oil spread a bit even. And you can see there, I'm right between the two dots. The top dot is going to be the full line. So I'm just adding a bit more. It's gonna be about 0.4 quarts. And if we see our measurement there, it's much closer to that full line. So that is perfect. I'm content with that. Okay, next we're going to reset the um, oil light, the oil maintenance light. So you press the power on twice, do not start the car, don't put your foot on the brake. And you're going to go to trip A and leave it there. So again, press the power button twice, but do not start the car. Next we're going to turn it off. And again, don't put your foot on the brake. Next, we're gonna hold the trip reset. And while we're holding it, we're gonna 
press the power twice and just keep holding it and you're gonna see all the zeros indicate and that is how you know you reset it all right perfect that concludes the video thank you guys so much for watching please like please subscribe um, if you want to see more videos in the future please comment let me know what you guys think have a great day have a great evening strike her out